Hey, if you can hear me, let me know if you can hear me. I'm going into the belly of the racist beast. But I don't know if you guys can hear me yet. So let me know if somebody can say you can hear me uh, before I, I go in there. I'm not wearing it. Okay, cool, you can hear me. All right. All right, so this is UCLA. Um, there is a big Jewish population near this area. As you can see, they showed up in force. There are actually probably more Zionists here than there are Palestinians. They're to the left. But I'm, I'm gonna take you into the belly of the beast. I got a club going on here. And already probably like 500 people already left. But uh, anyways, so I'm gonna walk through here. And uh, as much as I can, I'm not wearing any anything to identify me, so. But I wanna show you what's going on at UCLA. I'm sure one of you guys is gonna spot me, but. <laughs> I've never seen so many white people. I thought I was at a Trump rally for a minute. To the left is the Palestinian. But as you can see, um, yeah, they, they turn this into a raid basically. But uh, I've never seen so many people. Oh, we got a, we got an old lady getting her eyes watered. I don't know if she got mace or maybe. Let's see. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, Trump, Trumpish. It really feels like a January 6th crowd rolling up here. But Palestinians over there. In that way. They got something in their eyes. I don't know if anybody made somebody. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens here. So we got two people with their eyes plucked. But hopefully, no one's facing anybody, no matter what side you're on. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the Palestinian. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the Palestinian. Okay, we got some Palestinian people. Yeah, there are a lot, a lot. Okay, that goes around the corner too. All right, good, we got some pro pallies here. Good, good, good. Okay, so we got the pro, pro pally group protecting, it looks like. So, they're kind of doing like what the cops are doing at USC. They're protecting the group, because. Pro Pally is outnumbered, big time. They're standing their ground, so if you want to come in here, out here and support Palestinians, they definitely are outnumbered. Definitely outnumbered. So basically, it seems like Israel's trying to occupy UCLA too. I'm 
kind of walk around as much as I can because I set my bad leg, but I got the boot now. <laughs> so. so here we are on the edge. I'd say a few hundred Palestinians and a few thousand uh, Israelis. So. The police are here, but they're just kind of letting things happen. They're really far away. They're outnumbered. I have no doubt that there will be a lot more police officers here later because there are just too many people here to not have friction. I thought it felt like a Trump rally. Look at that. <laughs> There's a lot of people. I'm gonna see her just for a minute, but uh, this is just the edge of it. Uh, if you go around the corners, there's an entire uh, Zionist rage going on. Rave, I mean. So, I was not expecting these kind of numbers. Last night, there was a group of about 30 uh, of the Z-Boys uh, disrupting their little camp out sleep. Uh, being really annoying, so I expect that tonight, too. I'll probably pop in tonight, also. But I wanna come in here for a couple hours so you guys can see the absolute madness of Z City here. But they try to occupy another place. Ugh. They're doing a good job actually. But. So the, the Palestinians are basically boxed in because there's only a couple hundred of them. And like I said, there's at least a thousand uh, Z Club members and a lot of them left when I got here because there was, I don't know, they were doing some type of thing and they did God bless America because you know, we are completely intertwined with Israel so it's pretty accurate actually. But uh, should be called God Bless Israel, but uh, 
So yeah. But no one's really fighting. So that's good. Although I did see two Z ladies washing their eyes out, so I don't know what happened. But I don't know, maybe the G side was sweat got in their eyes. Maybe they got face, who knows? But it is very out very outnumbered though. So I've I have no doubt there'll be more police showing up here. Uh, the way he's going, there's probably about 30 police that I can see that are in one area. They're, they're kind of hiding in the corner. We have like the campus security doing their thing, but everybody else is kind of, police are really kind of standing back. It's really kind of the opposite uh, of uh, USC. So I feel like this is where you probably need more of a police presence than USC did. But so uh, let's see. I think the purple crew here in front of me, I think are kind of, uh, they might be a neutral group here. Basically peaceful, get everybody together, hold hands kind of group. Uh, you know, but it's hard to hold hands when you're getting airstrikes. All right, so it says Jews and Arabs refuse to be enemies, peace. And then the rest is in Hebrew, probably saying the same thing. So I don't know if this is the I don't know. Maybe you guys recognize that group. I don't recognize them. I do see one with the, the hostage and necklace on. So maybe they're kind of the neutral. They're the Switzerland of the of this movement. But definitely uh, massive. I'll go high thinking it's a little bit of better look real quick. So get a better idea of how massive it, it actually wraps around the corner. But it was too hard to get over there, so plus I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to get too and in, too involved in that group. I do wonder if like do they have a chain letter? What what happened? They all showed up. So it is crazy crowded here. A uh, square, I guess you could say, wall. And then of course it's kind of the opposite of what we usually see, with the, like when the cops show up. But um, they're holding strong. They're all masked up, of course. But but yeah, it's, it is a big crowd. It, it does feel like it feels like Israel showed up today. Uh, so yeah, this is other than probably Colombia. This is probably the biggest crowd you're gonna see there we go proud to you for a free palestine yes good all right right there you can't see the sign now but i, I like that so far everybody's pretty being good you know everybody's doing a little uh chanting each other here we go here we got some drama let's get a little drama here uh the pro-palestine guy did come up to them i'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that one but it looks like they're just friendly debate. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So we're having, all right, they're chilling out a little bit. Got some, got some drama over here. We have a Palestinian supporter and a most likely Eastern European person. Just going to call it gonna call it that. Definitely need more pro-Palestinian people here. Uh, outnumbered probably 10 to 1. All right, so I'm gonna move away from their discussion. I don't want to show his face. He didn't want to be shown. It is crazy. This is UCLA. Uh, last night there was a, about 30 young oh here's the Trump I told you I said a bit this was like a Trump rally look at that look at that they're not much different guys these ones just have a little bit more seasoning than a Trump person some of them Eastern European seasoning but uh, there is a Trump 2024 uh, I don't know where it went but hope you're liking my commentary here but I've been saying along this looks like a, the Zionist movement feels like a J6 crowd so this is uh, UCLA, 
uh, the Z boys and Z ladies are outnumbering the Palestinians like 10 to 1. You can't even see around the corner there's like a rave. They got a stage and everything. I don't know where the stage came from, but they were doing speeches when I got here. And then they played God Bless America. As you can see, the uh, US and Israeli flag together because we are in fact one nation, I've, I've realized, uh, unfortunately. But that's going to change. We're going to change that over time. So, but yeah, in, right in front of me is the Palestinian crowd. It's formed like a box to kind of protect people. Uh, but they are outnumbered like 10 to 1. So, crazy. But this is not going to be good. No, it's going to, I feel like it's going to definitely change. Uh, I feel like there are going to be police involved. They, there's about 30 police that are here. But they're staying back. They're letting uh, campus security handle it, which I gotta respect them for that. But uh, but it only takes one situation, right? Especially when you got a young, bunch of young people on different sides, uh, or actually even old people too. Honestly, old people are probably worse. Because I did actually see an old person kind of get in somebody's face in one video. But I'll be a little bit closer to Zland. I gotta move slow because I'm on. The, I got the boot on now. So. No, no calf, calf tear is gonna stop me. <laughs> so, all right. So we got the. So as you can see, we got the Palestinian crowd uh, right here. So they're doing a. I'll zoom it back. So we have the Palestinian crowd forming a box. I don't know what he's doing. He's like talking to the girl's ear. Let's see. Oh, he's just looking. Bye. I was hoping to see some people I know, but there's so many people here. But. I got, he got angry. Uh, thought I didn't catch him. This is uh, UCLA. For anyone wondering, I can't read the comments right now. I, I, I got the phone like 10 feet ahead of, above me. See what drama's here going here. Let's see. I'm always trying to figure out to find the drama. To get a better angle of this this drama. One of the reasons I come out here too is just to kind of make sure. Just to catch anything that shouldn't happen. In case somebody needs it, right? They need proof. So, there's always a little bit of dialogue along the edge. So, The Palestinian guy kind of looks like Jesus. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on this for a minute since they're having dialogue. Looks like somebody backed away, but he's like, I'm gonna, the guy with the love shirt, I'm going to go pick a fight with him is what that uh, Z-boy said. Oh, here we go. We got some... We got a little bit of even numbers here, but let's see. I'm not a, and I'm not wearing anything identifiable so that I can roam around without any friction. I already have one one bad leg. I don't need a second. Oh. 
I'm curious if when the cops do show up and handle this, who are they going to arrest? There's just too many people. And will they just stick with one side? Because it feels very, uh, feels like Israel has uh, the more aggression going on so far, especially because we got the numbers. I guess no one's listening to Netanyahu about uh, going home. So what do we got here? People are looking around. Oh. oh, maybe there was a fight. Saw some Z-Boys running into something for a second there. This is UCLA if you're just showing up. Um, which is Westwood, California, LA. Clearly you can see there is a giant Zionist crowd within uh, these areas. Uh, Bel Air, Santa Monica, um, West Hollywood, and Beverly Hills, kind of close to this area. All those touristy things. But, uh, earlier I said it felt like a Trump rally, and I saw somebody with Trump flag, so. Not to say there's not some diversity in the blue and white crowd, but it does. There's a lot of Eastern European going on too. So, but hopefully you can hear me all right. Someone's taking my picture. Cool. I don't hide my face. My face is already out there. I'll let people know who I am. I see a lot of American flags too, but if we end up going to war with Israel, I wonder like how many of these Americans would pick Israel to be on that side. On the outside, they have basically Palestinians got like a, a box right there, kind of protect each other. Because they are now outnumbered like 10 to 1. But I'm floating out on the outside. Oh. Guy with the Casilla just took a picture. People posed with the Israeli flag. It was interesting. Five-year-old wrote that back card. All right, so it says there is no apartheid. Literally, never been to the West Bank. Literally, never been to the West Bank. They just look at Tel Aviv and think that's it. UCLA. Um, every Zionist in Los Angeles has popped in. Shalom, bitches. Kind of funny. See, they think I'm part of them. <laughs> Is Tony Hawk? No, I'm kidding, it's not Tony Hawk.
This is UCLA. Uh, there's about probably 10 times as many about, uh, Z, Z boys and ladies as there are Palestinians, you can see. Very outnumbered. But it is a very diverse, or it is a very heavy and, uh, Jewish area. So you're probably going to get more Zionists, of course, because of that. And evidently the G-Side newsletter came out. Let everybody know to show up. I'll walk a little bit around with you guys. What's his, like, Ken Walk? I'm going to go more to the Israel side. Uh, the north. Or actually, probably the west. I'm going deep in the, uh, the belly of the, the racist thief. So they got it blocked off. I guess this is the uh, Zionist only. I don't know. Maybe it's not blocked off. So they got a stage. Kind of chill right now. It was a little crazier earlier. This whole place was filled up earlier, but I'm gonna get up here away from the crowd leaving, but as you can see. So they do have security here. I just don't know if uh, what kind of security. I don't know if it's uh, I feel like they hired security for this. You can see the uh, behind the, ear the earpieces. Okay, earpieces. That white guy, he's a former soldier. I can tell by his stance and his wrist. got a little party going on over here. Over there's the encampment, uh, the original encampment. Oh, they're following somebody. I'm gonna, I can't believe I keep up with her. I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow this harassing her. They're following this girl with a kafia. So. I'm gonna see, make sure nothing crazy happens. Okay, big stop. She's right there. It's a big girl. Big girl. There it is. I like that she says, stay on your side. I'm like, she's like, why are they coming over here? I don't understand. We built a wall for them. They can't go over the wall. That's pretty much what this girl's saying. But yeah, I'm deep in uh, I'm deep in occupied land right now. So we got a mass hero here. We got Captain Genocide. So anyways, so this is the Trump side of the rally. There's Captain Genocide. So we're on the Trump side. So like, 
sex with people with still settlements. This is UCLA for anybody who's not. I think I've got a. We have a Zionist dog. All right, we got friction here. We got friction. Oh, uh, this dude's pretty big. I figured he kind of had that. Uh, kind of had that look like he was gonna be, do some shit. He got that. Shit. I don't know who that asshole is, but I knew he was going to say something like that. Just wants to take that off. That's all the more people. Free, 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 Palestine! If you're in LA area, you should definitely come out if you're pro Palestine because we definitely need more people. I feel like he's going to start shit, so. I'm going to catch him on camera doing something stupid. He's kind of going with all the women, too. Try to intimidate the women. I'm going to keep focus on this, dude. I feel like he's going to do something stupid. the bullhorn. So. Not shocking. Getting worked up. I'm going to back up a little bit. So he uh, chose to, to try to uh, intimidate some women. And uh, they weren't intimidated. They told him no. Something he probably hears a lot. He's going to go find another woman to try to break through. I bet he served to the idea. He has that, he has that vibe. I'm just gonna follow his asshole for a while. As fast as I can. Now he's lecturing them. He keeps, point, he keeps finding the women. There's plenty of dudes, but he wants to go say some stuff to the women. I'm gonna get a better angle. Let me see here. I'll move over here. Start young, they start young. I'm gonna stay focused on this dude because he seems to be one to start trouble. What are you live on? I'm on uh, TikTok. What's your name? Uh, Generational News, but I'm not on your side. <laughs> you can still follow me if you want. Not too late to turn to the good side. <laughs> Little kid just want to know what my, uh, my name was. But he was a pro Israel crew. Take off his glasses. Trying to intimidate the ladies. So. He's 
got. Oh, he just he just made a sign. Fuck. What? What? I don't know. It's Trump and Epstein. Trump and Epstein. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna focus on this dude. I feel like Bing was gonna do something stupid. It's it's this dude, the Ed Hardy guy. got a giant flag, but... I'm on Palestine side. I'm just recording them. So they're doing their little flag crap right there. Not much different than Trump. It's a J6 crowd. Have to 
You're not right, you guys are killers. Look, I came from Iran. I studied from Iran. 40 years ago, 10 years ago. I studied from Iran. No one's listening to this guy. He's a Trump lover. I don't think we have the hostages here. Unstop, unstop. Great. There we go. So we got a Jewish person right there. She's for Palestine. So. Alright, let's see. What else we got? It's like probably five to one at least. Uh, we're medic. Terrace right here. All 9,000 of them. <laughs> she don't know what I meant. <laughs> she has no clue. <laughs> I shut her up at that for a minute. So here's the, it's like up here. But definitely outnumbered. Okay. I'm gonna move out for a minute. Alright, I'm gonna come over here for a second so I can drink some water. Take a break from the noise. Okay, so we are at UCLA. I'm going to take a quick break and get a drink because all this uh, all this anger makes you thirsty. But it's UCLA. Uh, Israel clearly, or Z World clearly has more people. It was like 10 to 1, now I say it's like 5 to 1. And that's because we are in a very high concentration of Jewish area. Uh, so of course you're going to have more finest, not that everybody is, but but we're here in, we're in Bel Air, Beverly Hills. I love how they say it. Um, so it's like five to one probably. Palestinians are definitely outnumbered, Palestinian crew. So far, the law enforcement is uh, standing back, letting it happen. They're not even near, actually. Last I saw, they were a couple hundred feet away. They really are hands off from this. But. Real quick, I'm gonna go to my, I've never done an Instagram live, I'm gonna do that. So if you wanna continue this, I'm gonna go to Generational News on my IG. I'm gonna do that for a little bit. So I'm gonna end this and go to IG, hopefully figure it out real quick, because I've never done a live over there. But uh, people keep asking for an IG, so. I will see you on the other, I'll see you on the IG side.